Bitcoin is right now breaking out of the symmetrical triangle, but at the same time, it is currently retesting the most important resistance of this entire region. So I will be talking about this. I will talk about the most important structure on the downside of Bitcoin. I will talk about the most important charts in general, the most important news. So make sure to watch this video till the end. It's going to be a super important one where I'm going to discuss all the most important charts. So without any further ado, don't forget to slap all the like button back about 400 likes. And with that being said, let me jump straight away in towards the content so once looking at the imminent short term for bitcoin we can currently see that bitcoin still has got that cme gap on the lower side even though yesterday bitcoin wicked towards the downside we were just about to be filling up the cme gap but unfortunately we have not completely filled it up yet so far but yesterday we did got some news hitting the market that arc invest just refilled their s1 bitcoin spot etf under amendment number three so since the sec is right now still in talks with the issue we are not really expecting that the Bitcoin spot ETF is going to get accepted to win in the coming week. But one thing we know is that within the coming 49 days, the ARK Invest final deadline will arrive. And that is the point where we will be expecting the Bitcoin spot ETF is going to get accepted from. So you have to understand the BlackRock Bitcoin spot ETF has a one-on-one -on -one backing with real Bitcoin and so have the other issuers. So in 49 days from now on, we will reach the final deadline from the ARK Invest Bitcoin spot ETF. And that is why I really think this is going to be gigantically bullish for bitcoin so it's just a matter of time before bitcoin is once again going to be flying back towards the upside so this is really the time where you should be benefiting from potential re-accumulation on bitcoin so bitcoin is still creeping back towards the upside and once again it's trading around 37 000 us dollars i quickly want to be talking about the structure and if i'm looking at the structure on bitcoin right now here you can see that there are two very important levels it is this level on 35.2k and it's this level all right 36 000 us dollars this 36 000 us dollar was also a double bottom and so was the 35,000 US dollars as well and the next time we retested it we bounced from it so if Bitcoin were to be coming down and retest at that 35.8 to 35.9k level I would actually not be surprised that Bitcoin is actually going to be bouncing back towards the upside again from that level and if we fail to hold this level we fail to hold the structure and if we fail to hold the 35.2k so we fail to hold that structure as well then I will really be expecting Bitcoin could come a little bit lower but honestly it it will be very likely that this level is going to be flipping into support or this level on the lower side is going to be flipping into support but if we break below any of these levels then i will be expecting bitcoin is going to fall down a little bit further in case bitcoin is really going to be falling down further i will be definitely massively benefit from it because the white expectation is there that a spot etf is going to get accepted and yes that would really cause bitcoin to spark a new bull run so i'm super excited about the next upcoming two months here and i honestly think that Bitcoin is going to go exponential and since retail interest is still so low here there is so much upside to come for Bitcoin and especially also with altcoins so make sure to position yourself very well right now further on we can see here on the one hour time frame Bitcoin has broken the downward sloping resistance line right here flipped it into, into support but I exactly talk about this red box yesterday as well this liquidity zone here on Bitcoin but we're still getting rejected by this level the two most important levels of resistance ahead of ourselves is of course at 37.8 8k and this 37.6k level where we got rejected from already today so yeah if we break above this level i really will be expecting we're going to go a little bit higher but like i explained in my previous videos i always see the bitcoin chases the liquidity in the market and currently if we're looking at liquidity there's a lot of liquidity laying around the 38 000 us dollar level where we're going to see a massive short squeeze and around that 36k level there's also a lot of liquidity but currently it looks like that the majority of the liquidity is laying above us so if bitcoin is going to change for another liquidation it's probably going to go up to 38.5k to potentially even 39,000 US dollars and that could be once again happening anytime soon here because what we do know here what I've been saying for quite a while here on the channel and what we have been seeing for quite a while here is that Bitcoin usually tends to be moving the hardest and the fastest on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays so right now it's Tuesday so either today or tomorrow we could see another big move for Bitcoin right now we can clearly see this downward sloping resist line uh, is currently flipping actually into some somewhat of support here so potentially Bitcoin could be on the verge of a beginning of a next move here and once again potentially it's going to be sucking up the liquidity that is currently laying around in this market keep your eyes wide open on this and make sure to pay attention and once bitcoin really
really breaks above this previous wick here on the market, that level that I discussed right here, this red dotted line right here, if we break above that level, honestly, I won't be surprised that we're going to see another move towards the upside. Since then, we will be seeing massive amounts of short liquidations getting activated, and that would cause Bitcoin to spike even further on towards the upside. Potentially, we are creating a triple top here because momentum is really drying up here, but just the macro environment on Bitcoin, the fundamental macro environment on Bitcoin is looking so bullish, and that is why the chart just keeps going up here for Bitcoin. Less and less people are selling, and that is why we keep going up here. So on the daily time frame honestly if i will be analyzing bitcoin on the daily time frame this this will be a very no buy zone here right here in my opinion because we are really losing momentum price action is going up momentum is drying up so honestly from a from a technical perspective i would say ah oh, you should better stay away from it but i do know that the fundamental aspect on bitcoin right now here is just looking super bullish and that is why probably we could still continue towards the upside and also if we just purely look at the liquidity there is still a possibility that we're going to get another move towards the upside so i won't be surprised if it's really going to be happening but just like i said in the beginning of the video if you really want to be looking at these levels here i should be looking at 35.9k and 35.2k these are the two most important levels of support on the chart and if you look at these levels closely you can clearly see that these are the levels where we probably could be bouncing very strongly from and of course after that we still got another level we got the oversolving support line potentially this level right here and 34.6k so you should be looking at these levels very closely but this is the most important but these are the two most important levels in terms of the structure for Bitcoin right now. But honestly, if you want to be trading Bitcoin, make sure to go to the link description of today's video. You can currently claim a deposit bonus up to $40,000. And if you go directly towards the website, it's only $400. So it's definitely a win-win situation. And on top of that, you can claim a $1,000 US dollar airdrop position if you right now sign up an account using the link below. The only thing you need to do here is complete KYC, deposit $100 in your first seven days, and you could be claiming an airdrop position on Bitcoin, Ethereum, or either on Pay. Pay. So make sure to check it out in the link description of today's video, but it's definitely super, super valuable. So on the bigger time frames, I still think that Bitcoin is trading in somewhat of a downward sloping resist line, and it's still creating somewhat of a consolidation phase right here. We can see that in the larger perspective, we're creating a massive consolidation phase, and this could maybe potentially take another two or three weeks here before this is going to be breaking out. But anyways, I'm going to be looking very closely at it. If we really see that correction towards the downside and potentially are going to be retesting that downward sloping support line, we could be potentially create somewhat of this symmetric triangle right here and that would potentially also make us uh, be breaking out somewhere at the beginning of december so let's see how it's going to be playing out here i'm gonna look very closely towards it we are still creating that inverse hand and shoulders pattern looking super bullish for bitcoin and of course on the bigger perspective on the weekly time frame if we're going to be looking at the bigger structure guys we can see that currently the 36 000 US dollar level flipped this into support and you can see that how important this weekly chart is right so this was previous massive support for bitcoin it flipped into resistance right here and one once we broke above it right now so far we've not retested it but if we were to be retesting this level i will be expecting it's going to be flipping into massive support again here so let's see how it's going to be playing out but the macro perspective is very important to take into account and honestly on the macro perspective bitcoin is looking super bullish and you have to also understand the next bitcoin halving is going to be happening in approximately 140 days and then the first bitcoin spot etf is going to be happening in the coming 50 days so this is really going to be sparking the next bull run because literally supply is going to get cut in half and the month is going to be increasing exponentially. So this is the perfect recipe for another bull run. So make sure to understand what currently is going on in the background. And that is why I'm currently so bullish over the coming two years for Bitcoin. So this was it for me on today's update video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Goodbye. Make sure to accumulate.